Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today we are back with One OK Rock and today we are going to be doing a whole playlist of their live performances. And a playlist was put together by Marek who also requested One OK Rock in the first place. And this is what he has said. He said, hi Fern, so I compiled the best One OK Rock live performances into a playlist as I said I would. There's a couple of acoustic versions and covers and covers sprinkled in there and I tried to pace it out as best as I could and of course save the best for last. You can treat this as my request for this month but for starters I wanted to send you some of their Instagram posts so you can get the feel for them as a band and what they are like off stage. Uh, you can watch them on camera or off camera, that's up to you. I think we should do that, we should go through the Instagram post before we start the show. So yeah, let, let's do that because it, it goes onto this one. Number one, who's going to pay for food? In brackets, Marek has said, I still don't completely understand understand how this game of theirs works, but basically they play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins, I think it's like they win their pride to graciously pay for the meal or something. Because in my mind, whoever loses would pay. But nonetheless, when they see the actual receipt, they might be regretting the win. <laughs> So it's pretty entertaining. So yeah, let's have a little look at those first. If you do want to become a patron, then all my links will be in the description, also in the pinned comment below. And if you can't do that, then there are other ways to help me, uh, including liking, commenting, sharing the video, and subscribing, of course. I also will be streaming on Twitch, doing live music reactions. Uh, I might have already started by the time this video is out, I'm not sure, but yeah and yeah just just check out all my links in the description follow me on instagram too you'll see lots of content there that i don't post on youtube of course and also i haven't really said about the look i tried to do a bit of a backcomb situation not backcomb to my hair in actual years um i kind of love this makeup look i've got going as well it's not nothing too crazy but it is impactful i found this because i lost it and I thought I'm going to put it on. It doesn't, it, I don't know, it might look better without it, but I like it, so who cares? <laughs> but yeah, let's do this. Let's do the Instagram bit first. <laughs> ちょっと待って。俺のもう怖いよ。はい、みんなワイン飲みすぎ。飲みすぎもう。てか飲みすぎやし。てか、ご飯も食べすぎよ。てか、なんか食べすぎじゃん。てか、デザートまでいって、デ
How long have they all been in a band together? They just seem, they seem like great band members, like really close. And that's how you'd want it to be in any band, right? It's so cute that they record this as well for everyone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Regrets his decision. He regrets his win, should I say. That's so funny. Okay, they, well, they all seem really close, really, like, um lively and i don't know just cute actually um that's the impression i'm getting and then we got taka's birthday i love how i'm watching all these before i thought actually why not do it on the video oh it has no sound apparently i don't know why why does it have no sound oh <laughs> Oh my god, the way he's pushing it. <laughs> he had barely any cake on his face, actually. Oh. <laughs> well. <sighs> they just seem like a bunch of kids. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just have so much fun. They're so cute. I can only imagine how their live performances are going to go. Me and Marek have talked about them and saying how uh, he, you know, Marek has said that it's just fantastic. So I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to, you know, watch it. I wish I was actually there. Um, bunch of kids after finishing their concerts. <laughs> wow, look how packed that stadium is. How lovely. It's so cool because their songs are like super like... Um, well, you know, really like powerful, some of them quite emotional and inspirational and motivating. And then it's so nice to see that they've got like really genuine personalities as well um, to go with it. Very just like, they just have a lot of light in them, don't they? That's so cute. But okay, let's get ready. Um, also, Marika said, side note, also one thing I find adorable is that all the members have these cool, cohesive cartoon drawings of themselves as their IG profile pictures. I don't know if a fan made made them for them or they hired an artist but it but it's cute that they have matching profile pics definitely oh they do they seem like such a like team you know what i mean and like how lucky is that because you know how it is with bands sometimes bands are put together and they're not even friends you know what i mean they might just work together and become friends or sometimes they clash and the bands fall apart but when you've got when you're this close of your bandmates that's how it works that's how it can have longevity and everything because as they can rely on each other. They're like family at this point, which is so nice. But anyway, let's get into it. Got myself a little drinky here to get started. Yeah, so that it feels like I'm actually at the concert having a good time. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. First one is One OK Rock, The Beginning, official video from the Eye of the Storm Japan tour. I think I'm going <clears> to... <throat> move over a bit and have it here or something the video okay ah. let's go just give me a reason to keep my right oh it's like professionally filmed i love that Wow. 
outfit with the hands. That's so cool. His voice is amazing. I don't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> stadium is packed. I got shivers. Silence. <laughs> he looks cool. They all look cool. The call and response is amazing. That's what it's made for. Big shows like this. Oh my gosh. playing so well as well his live vocals are so all those spotlights Oh my god, that's so good! Oh my gosh! The visuals! How does he sound so perfect? Synchronized. Really getting into the groove there. That's just pure happiness, isn't it? Being at a gig or a show, concert, sorry. You know, just being at a concert where, like, it, I don't know. Number one, there's just so many people there. There's, like, got to be about 80,000 people there, 60,000 or something. So it's, there's just so many people. Just seeing, oh, just, I've not been to a stadium concert in a very, very long time. I think the last time I went to one was in, like, it's when I saw Guns N' Roses, which is so long ago, like actually years and years ago. But the energy and just like the way everyone was like moving like that, like it really does like, even though there's thousands of people there, you're all there to see the same band. So you obviously love them. 
and you're all in it together really it's such a community at concerts it really feels special they really invite that as well you know a lot of call and response and so on to get the crowd involved the light shows were fantastic as well but um yeah i want to move on because i want to i want to keep going i want to hear more we now have one okay rock heartache studio jam session okay so maybe this will be a bit more low-key i'm quite looking forward to it actually it's nice to have like a diversity of their like proper live bit and then like their more chill moments and you know I'm excited so to say the time takes away the pain but I'm still the same Different hair here. We'll find another you that can be true. That's good. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. Why didn't I tell lies? Yeah, wish till I could do it again. Such a good singing voice. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? My so this is heartache. So this is heartache. Such a strong falsetto. He's so lucky to have a voice like that. There are so many men that would die for a voice like that. So many women that would die for a voice like that. <laughs> Including me. I just noticed that actually, the little xylophone thing. mixing the Japanese and English so uh, fluidly, you know, and fluently. <laughs> Pushed it a little bit then. Need it, Right. 
Wow. Very good. I'm so feminine there. If I don't look. The fact that he could just do that with his voice is crazy. And they all played beautifully, by the way. But like, it just made me think of Sleeping With Sirens because like, I used to listen to a lot of the Sleeping With Sirens acoustic uh, songs that they did. But this is like it, but his voice, this guy's voice, uh, I can't remember what his name is. Sorry, lead singer. Yeah, that is Taka, who we were talking about earlier when it was his birthday. I thought it was Taka, but I didn't want to, you know, get it wrong. But um, yeah, his voice in here, you can actually hear like it's, it's like a really interesting blend of masculine and feminine. You know, he blends it well and he knows what he's doing. So he can be like, so this is, and it's got like that, like emotive, it's got, you can hear that it's like a masculine vocal, but it's still sweet and could be feminine. But then it goes, heartache. And it sounds so pretty in the falsetto. But even at the end, he did something where he was like, who? Like, see how my voice sounds more feminine when I go, ha, to ha. Obviously, I am a woman, so it's going to sound feminine either way, but the <sighs> sounds even more feminine. And he uses a lot of his nasal, you know, he uses a lot of twang and nasally stuff to give it that feminine touch, which is so beautiful. And I always love it when men have like an ambiguous voice like that, it can slip between both. I just, oh, I just always love those types of voices. And he just did it flawlessly throughout. And also when he went, heartache. Like he pushed it into a mixed voice rather than just a falsetto. Oh, stunning. Also, like I don't I want to say before we start the next one, like that feminine type of vocal is so common in like emo -y style music. So it's perfect for it. But I just love that his isn't like super on the nose at times. You know, sometimes it just sounds like a lovely vocal that could be sang in any uh, genre. And then other times you'll do a little bit of the twang or like the way he says a word and that makes it, gives it that emo -y feel that their band have. But I just thought it was kind of versatile in ways as well. I reckon like if he was to sing a blues song, he could make it, he could do it. You know what I mean? He just could. If he was to sing a pop song, easily could do it. You know, I feel like he could do a lot with a voice like that. And usually when people have a voice that is more twangy and twangy, I mean like a little bit nasally, like they will have a better time reaching high notes, getting into like interesting areas of the voice that you can like flip around and do crazy things with um, and therefore could do way more genres. And he's certainly got it, but obviously it sounds perfect for the type of music that 1OK Rock have. Anyway, let's do it. Wasted Nights, also from the Eye of the Storm Japan tour. <laughs> Oh, before we start, actually, I did want to say, like, if you are watching after you've already watched my first reaction to 1OK Rock, thank you to all the new subscribers and new, new people that uh, watch that video and are here to see more. Hopefully you're happy that I'm now reacting to this, but honestly, if a video gets, like, more subscribers and views, I'm definitely more likely to listen to it again. So I'm just really, really grateful for that. Thank you. どんな夜も必ず来て <laughs> This next one is called Worst at Nights. Let's do it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Here he's going. Must be something in the water. He's got an R. So he's actually got like a thickness to his like voice. It's actually, instead of being like, Something in the, in the water. Instead of it being very pushed to the forefront, it's held in the back. 
water it's like containing it a little probably giving it a little bit more control and and also just stylistic choice in a water Her. feel like i can take the water yeah that's nice throw it away up on my shoulders cuz i won't even feel the burn burn Don't be afraid to die be afraid that you didn't try it's more is for mine to swipe cute Smiling. <laughs> He said wait. I don't wanna wait. I don't wanna wait. He made it really airy. I don't wanna wait. Like very aspirate. Oh. I don't wanna wait. I don't wanna waste tonight. Oh, he's really focused there. I don't wanna waste tonight. A lot of the time, I'll do it too, but a lot of the time when someone's trying to really make sure a note hits and like lands you know the hands will start moving and you could tell he's not going all crazy with it he's just like wait tonight it's almost like you're moving your voice with your hands in your mind you know you're like make sure i get that there and i get that bit there you know he's thinking about it and that's cool because he hit it well then he's like Making sure. And he's doing it perfectly. Oh. Yes. So, also, I just want to say before it gets into that. So, when people think like of singers being like this, it's not like a it's necessarily a stylistic choice of being like, oh, I want to be all like, la. Actually, a lot of it is you're you're doing it without thinking a lot of the time because you are really just thinking about your vocal and guiding it. So a lot of the time, it's not even just for performance. It's it's because you're literally trying to move that, like, your voice around with your hands and your mind. <laughs> if you're a singer, you might understand what I'm saying. Oh, I love it when the crowd sings. Oh, don't. That's gonna make me cry. Stop. release 
can imagine this being like just so emotional. Like a memory that will stay with you forever. Of course. But look at everyone. I just wanted to say like that little bit at the end where it's just his vocal and he lets him wait and then he just really lets it all out and all those bits where he's like I don't want to wait I don't want to wait tonight you know he's very like controlling it and the reason I feel like he has to have that control in the smaller parts is because he's got such a good tank of air do you know what I mean so he probably feels genuinely more comfortable when he gets to just let it all out and do like the big long notes like he does at the end here. And it's such a release, just him. And I just felt like, imagine you're this band and you've been together for what, I don't know how many years, but you've got to a point where you have this many people who love you. And this is just one show and one set of people. There could be a whole other set of people, you know, some another night or another place. And to just think that that's just you and you just sing that line out and there are thousands of people watching you be so vulnerable. It's just such a powerful moment for everyone and how everyone was fucking silent. Not even a woo or like a come on or even if there was, that'd be cute, but there wasn't. They just let him do it. How often can you say that like someone could be doing something and thousands of people are just letting them do it? You know what I mean? And it's a good thing. Like, usually, it doesn't matter where you are, there's always, like, some bad things happening, or, like, a bad apple or something, or something annoying. But no, this is a moment that, that everyone there is in together, and they they understand the assignment, shut up and let them sing. <laughs> and, like, they know when to sing, too, which is awesome. But also, just the whole band, like I said before, playing it perfectly. I love the drummer's face when it cuts to him, and he's just, like, he just looks so, like uh in euphoria i think they all are and then like the guitar all of it they just look like this they are grateful you know what i mean they look like they are so grateful for the moment it's just it's just wholesome the whole thing yeah we now got mighty long fall at the my uh yokohama yokohama stadium Nice. Oh, he looks so cool here. Love this outfit. It's got kind of a sexy voice here as well. Oh, and sexy guitar. Oh. How 
is he not dizzy? I love this. I knew there'd be flames in our shows. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's exciting. Right down. Nice! Yes! Oh, that's so pretty! Oh, the rasp and the grit. This one is sick. I think I would die if I saw this live. <laughs> that guitar is gorgeous. Such a nice breakdown. That's so fun. It makes it different. Oh my fucking god, what? Didn't know they were a metal band. <laughs> All the strobes. I wish I was there so bad. I think I need to go to one of these shows. That was really good. Woo. Yeah. One okay rock. That's so good. See, that one feels like really up my alley, like up my street. That is just my type of like feeling i guess it's darker it's a bit more gritty it's got oh, it's just so emotional at the same time obviously i can like the other ones that i've seen like so much on like a massive level but ones like this are like what kind of speak to the core of me if you know what i mean somewhere that like, like a gig i'd love to go to myself but this would be like that real like emotional but you're really in your feelings you know what i mean you're just like ah you know it's kind of crazy how we did just hear such a sweet one where he sang beautifully, it was all beautiful and it was so emotional. And then we heard that they could do this style too, which was borderline metal in parts with the breakdown. And just the way he he changes his whole performance. You know, instead of being like, and like, you know, he's all like, and like, you know what I mean? He's like fully in it, like feeling like the rage. Like he's a, they are, well, they all are proper like performance artists. And like, obviously... Even like the reason I can say it's got a metal sound to it is because even if it wasn't for the music, the guitarists are literally stood there in metal poses like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like proper going for it with the strobe lights and all of that. You could tell what it is and it's brilliant. 
I'm getting quite hot though, so I might actually have to change this top round quickly. Well, I didn't change my top, I just undone the shirt because, oh my God, I was just getting really hot. And I took my necklace off because oh, it's too hot to be emo. <laughs> Honestly, tell that to my younger self. I used to wear hoodies, long skinny jeans, all sorts in the middle of summer. But now I'm too old for that. I can barely sort out my emo fringe. <laughs> it's so cringy me doing it now as a 28 year old mother. <laughs> but anyway, it's also fun. And emo is still alive, clearly. Bands like One OK Rock are the ones that keep it alive and I'm so fucking here for it. Oh my God, I love it. What the hell? That was so good. I love that one. There was something else I wanted to say, but I don't even bloody remember what it was. Oh yeah, that was it. I was gonna say, um, Marek was saying that. I think, I can't remember where Marek saw him. Was it in Prague? I can't remember, but somewhere in Europe, he saw them and he said the venue was like a lot smaller. It wasn't like stadiums like this. And he's like, and he was saying, but they've still put on such an amazing show. And it's crazy to think that, isn't it? Like in Japan, they can have like massive stadiums filled to the maximum. And then they come to Europe and not as many people know them. I find that just really like interesting. And I know it's just the way it is, but it's still like... I don't know. I'm just like, this is such a Western sound in so many ways. You'd think that, like, they'd be packing out stadiums here as well. I don't know. Maybe they will be soon. Or maybe they have already. I don't know. I reckon they will. I reckon they will. I, uh, you know, look at how big they are, like, and how many people are at this concert. Surely, surely they've got to pack out, like, London at some point. It's got to happen. It's going to happen. I know it. Oh, but anyway, I'm having so much fun. It does make give me extreme FOMO. Like, I want to be there so bad. So bad. Okay, now we've got... I'm going to chill for a bit. We've got Taka from One OK Rock doing a cover of Hello by Adele. Very interested. Let's see how this goes. Like, what... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have imagined him singing a song like this, but that's why it's cool, I guess. I was wondering if after all these years they like to meet to go over everything. They say that I'm supposed to heal you, but I end the match in healing. Can you see the amount of control he has there? He's all like, Hello, it's me. Da, 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 da. Like he's really trying to like hold back, like, because you know that he could just go he could just let all that air out and just go and go and go you know he can but he has got so much control over his breath and his voice here and that high register they say that i'm supposed to heal you but i end the match healing hello can you hear Oh my god, I really like he's gonna he's really gonna go for it, isn't he? In a chorus. Ooh, that little yodel. I can't even do it. There you go. Oh, I can't even do it because it's like the break in his voice is in the right area for him. Such a different Oh Oh Yodel's everywhere. It's a perfect place in his voice. Ready? Hello from the other He gets side. to be free. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for everything. Oh, it's 
so oh my god he's, he's really got Hello. a good voice I know I keep saying it but like hearing it in all the different it's scenarios so it's just beautiful to talk about myself I'm sorry I hope that you will as you ever make it out of that town where nothing ever happened it's no secret, no secret. the both of us are running out of time hello from the other side i must have wow. called Says sorry. Never sorry. seem to be home. Hello from the outside. At least so effortless. I can say that I've tried so bold to tell you I'm sorry. That's his mixed voice. Falsetto here. I relate to it. <laughs> or so do I. Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for everything that I've done. But when I the way to do that don't matter so perfect honestly yeah when he did the ooh bit I can't remember the melody but I, when I say I relate to it is because my falsetto is thicker when I do a ooh sound and people normally say ooh sounds are harder to falsetto but that's if you're like ooh, maybe a little bit harder but if you do a falsetto that's kind of mixed a little bit like You know, it has a little bit of an operatic sound to it. Um, that's how I usually do it, though. Like, that's how, what I would do. I would use that um, more of an operatic falsetto most of the time, uh, unless I want it to sound, like, soft. But if you want it to sound hard, a ooh sound is brilliant. Instead of being like, because ah, that's got a sweeter sound, right? But the, ooh, it gives it a more rounded fuller sound i always love doing that and he did it perfectly isn't it crazy how much you can hear his voice when he's like he literally goes from being like hello it's me and you could feel him really like you know trying to hold on to that vocal and then he goes hello from the other side you know and it's all like ah you know, he could do lots of different moments within it because he's so confident with that uh, part of his voice, which is perfect for the type of music that he has chosen to do in the band 1OK Rock. I don't know. I just love it. I know I talk about the singing a lot, but that's because obviously I sing. <laughs> but no, that was such a beautiful one. And it was really nice to break it up again. I feel like, Marek, you've definitely placed these songs so well so far. <sighs> Look at me fully with my shirt off now. <laughs> This is actually like a sports bra, but it could definitely get away with being a crop top. So I don't think I'm doing anything wrong here, right? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, let's do it. Next one is Cry It Out. Oh, Cry Out, sorry. Let's go. Oh, 
Ominous. No idea how this is gonna go. Well, I know it's gonna go amazing, but I don't know what it's gonna, the vibe's gonna be yet. Oh, okay, that's nice. I love his hair here. Don't care. So good. I love it when he does that with his voice. With the grit and the tone. Wait. He's like, catch me. Me. Ooh. Nice! Screaming! energy is brilliant. Facial expressions just fantastic. Oh. Yes. The amount of times I'm at a show and I just look at the drama for ages because I'm like always so fascinated with how they do it. <laughs> That's so cool. Like an arrow. Oh, I got shivers again. <laughs> I just like, can you imagine? <laughs> got so many shivers. Freezing. Skipping. I would not be able to sing after that big old skip. I'd be out of breath after one. Wait. Oh, that's so cool. And the way the lights change in those bits as well. Perfect. Oh. Ow. Yes. Wow, how cool hearing him do like proper screaming. <laughs> I 
love that. Also, I love it when like uh, songs or bands have like, uh, you know, rather than the whole song be like a full on screaming song. I love it when they have like moments of screams like like this song had. I always feel like it just has such a special impact on a song. When you're not expecting it, it's always more fun, if you know what I mean. Now we've got A Thousand Miles, Mighty Long Fall at Yokohama Stadium Live. Well, I know what this song is. Cute. Working my way downtown, walking fast, faces past and I'm homebound. Cute. I love how they're all close together. Smiling black curly hair, just making my way, making a way through the crowd. Look at the guitarist. He's so in it. He's also like really attractive. I definitely fancy it. <laughs> I've been looking at him like a few times and being like, he is a handsome man. This is a perfect song for his voice, though, isn't it? Tonight. Because it's got that sweetness to it that the song has. It's always times like this when I think of you and I wonder if you ever think of me. Oh, I love this! He's so Except cute with that! So I love that! Is that the drummer? Yeah, it is actually. Cause I miss you. Oh, need you. And I miss you. That's it. I feel like Carly Ray Jepsen could do this song. If I could fall into the sky, do you think tight? What ties me by? Cause you know I work a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight. Such an iconic song. Stally black early head, just making a way, making a way through the crowd. And I still need you. And I still miss you. It's so cool that they have this moment in their show. <laughs> Beautiful! Just hold you tonight. Is that all people? 
like a big wall of people. <laughs> That's a crazy theater uh, stadium. Arigato. Arigato. Oh, arigato to you too for that beautiful moment. That's so cute. I love that. And like, I just always feel like when you're someone who sings in a band, it's always so fun to like also do like more acoustic sound to change it up a bit. Because of course, as you can imagine, doing the big songs, you're running around live singing. And the, but like you want the dynamic of being able to just sit and sing a song and really, even though you could hear the vocals all the time, especially with these guys, the sound, the sound is brilliant. You know, sometimes you just want to be able to sing and have your vocals really be shown and it's nice. It's nice that they all enjoy doing it for a minute as well, just playing a more low-key style of uh, song. Uh, I love it. It's so cute. It's so nostalgic, this band, isn't it? Like, it really reminds me of, like, the old... Well, like I said before, the old emo bands, the old pop punk bands, the old pop rock bands or whatever. And, like, even, like, this moment here where they all just sing a song like this, I just feel like it's so on the nose of what that genre is and what they do. I just feel like it happens all the time with like big bands. They sing songs that are a bit more like, like pop, you know, like pop songs, but make it their own. It's so cool. I'm trying to think of like examples. What is like loads? Well, also we've also heard loads of like, you know, songs where you get like a pop song turned pop punk. You know what I mean? So I guess, you know, they do it both ways. I don't know. But either way, I really like it. Right, I'd run out of my beverage. So I found some a little tiny bottle of rosé champagne and I was like, yeah, why not? Why not? It's only half a glass, look. Half a large glass, so <laughs> probably the size of a regular glass. But um, yeah, I just was like, let's keep the party going. I don't I don't think I've ever done it had a drink when I've done a video before I have when I've done a live stream when I was really nervous but never on a video and it's not like I'm getting plastered is it okay so I can't actually say the name of this one so you're just gonna have to read it and see for yourself so let's go oh is it another oh it's another like a intimate one. Oh, it sounds groovy. Do I even like this joke? The smell of it. Oh! Tastes nice, actually. Don't like the smell. Come on now. Nice. Oh. Ah. So cool. I love that little guitar line. Oh, he's so cute. Don't know why I put this back on. Too bloody hot. And it's like itchy. It's not even a nice fabric, you know? The way he can go into that raspy voice so easily is beyond me.
That's beautiful. Oh. That guitar has got such a lovely tone. So I know you know, you know I know. We have, we have, we have grown. Tall our lena, you need to win my tail. I don't care. Oh, key change. Is this stadium seating just way steeper than usual? Literally looks like a vertical wall of people. Wow. Oh my god, his voice. I can't. You're welcome. How do you say welcome in Japanese? You're welcome in Japanese. I'm going to look. You are welcome. I know it's going to be really bad. Probably. And you can all tell me off if I say it completely awful. Doatashi mashati. Doatashi. Oh my god. Okay, so if you take Japanese lessons, you'll probably learn the proper response to arigato. Arigato is do do itashi mashati. Doatashi mashati. Shitty. 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 Oh no, I feel like I'm saying something genuinely offensive in English. <laughs> How does it said? Oh, I need to hear it be said. Doi tashimashite. Doi ashimate. Doi tashimashite. Doi ashimashite. Doi tashimashite. Doi tashimashite. Doi ashim. Doi ashti. Doi atishmash. Doi atimash. Atishata shamati. Oh my god. Doi ash shut myself. That's what I feel like I'm going to say every time I try and say it. I don't even mean to, but it sounds like I'm about to say that, and that's horrible. I don't think that is a very nice response to thank you, is it? Doi, I shat myself. <laughs> it's awful. Doi tashimashite. Doi tashimashite. Doi tashimashite. Doi tashimashite. Is that right? Doi tashimashite. Doi tashimashite. So, arigato. Doi tashimashite. Not bad, but uh, we'll leave that for another day. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay. And also, I have noticed throughout that these are all songs I actually haven't heard before. So it's actually kind of cool that I'm, like, reacting to them do live versions of songs I haven't even heard the studio versions of yet. It'll be fun to, like, hear the studio versions, you know, after hearing the live versions. Because it's usually you hear the studio version, then the live version. But in this case, it's the other way around, so... I know, that's exciting. Kind of cool. But yes, this one is called Stand Out Fit In. Love what the title is. It's interesting because it's two very contrasting things. Oh, it says orchestra version as well. All right, let's go. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I know I hate to pause it, but when he goes before again, when I was talking about that operatic sound, what vowel is he using? He's using a 
you know, the other vowel I said was, uh, but he's using a, oh, giving it even more operatic sound rather than a, heard it all be fi, fi. He's not going, ah, or, fi, fi, you know, or, uh, or, ah. Uh. No, it's, four, giving it that rounded operatic sound. That's so cool! Having all of this. Oh, he sounded gorgeous with the acoustic. They've got this acoustic guitar mic'd the fuck up. So good. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh my gosh. The violins. Oh my God, that's so cool. So like, did they do like a whole orchestral performance somewhere? Cause that's really cool. See, they do so much. They do acoustic, they do covers. They do like just their, you know, usual live, like absolute live extravaganzas, but then also an orchestral live. I feel like rock bands are just so versatile, you know? They do so, so, so much. Of course, like you get like pop singers that do amazing thing with choreographed dancing and sometimes they have a piano ballad or, you know, little things like that. But rock bands just are so diverse. And I think that's why I've always just loved rock music because it has so much diversity. Um, and of course, live instruments. So I guess, well, actually a lot of pop singers will have live instruments. Like when you're really big, like a, a huge uh, pop singer, a lot of the time you'll have live instrumentation, but it's not the same as when you're in a rock band with the live instrumentation and you're just as much of a member as the lead singer. When, when in like, when a pop singer does it, they're the main focus. If you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. <laughs> now we've got one okay rock. Take What You Want Ambitions Japan Dome Tour 2018. Let's go. This is what I don't miss about having this type of hair. It's the amount of time you have to like look after it. Check on it. 
Let go head. I don't want to think in a broken Oh, this is filmed really nicely. This angle that the memory beautiful with the lighting. The wow. The picture of us on the wall. So take what you want. You want. I love that. Sorry, before we get into it, I know it's probably about to do something lovely, but he goes, What are you? He's almost got a closed mouth there. Take what you want. Mm. It's very in like the here, like you know, it's like around here. It's not coming out his nose. I'm not saying he's like humming or anything like that, but it's got such a small little narrow area. Yeah, and it, and that is very much borderline going to like if he did something else, it would go into like an overtone type singing where you'd hear almost like two notes. Like, if you could hear, I've got the original, mm, but I've also got, mm, like, I've got a buzz on top of it. So if you pushed it a little more, he'd have that little overtone buzz. But um, it's just like, again, with that control, take what you want. Mm, I don't know. It's just so effortless. I don't know. I just get hooked on little things like that. Sorry. I get all into it. So take what you want. Chow. I love it. So intimate, you know? Yeah, definitely easy. Oh, it's just intimate. Oh, oh the silence. No way. Is it that silent? No fucking way. Oh my god. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm trying to hear you. Well, you definitely wouldn't have been able to hear anyone in that silence. Oh, that's so clever. Literally so clever. No, right. I know I'm pausing again. I realize this. But I have to talk about that moment because he literally let it become silent to the point of it being an uncomfortable silence of where people would be like, what's going on? What's that going? What's going on? But I suppose if you know the song, you know what's coming. But then he literally talks about the silence in the song. Uh, yeah, love that. Making a point. I'm singing for you, you're screaming at me. Hard to see your tears in the pouring rain. I love the lyrics. Oh. He almost, when he went into the, oh. Like the way it went into the falsetto was almost seamless. Like, they didn't even sound like there was a little, oh, 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 no, oh, no yodel that he would usually do. It was seamless. It's almost like he pulls back to let it come out. Like, oh, 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 oh. yeah, it's like he pulls back a little. Oh, my God, sorry. Seamless. Oh, 
Oh my god, emotional. Take what you want, take what you want, Wow, he can sing <sighs> perfectly. I, I know I keep talking about it. I'm going to shut that. Oh. This is so good. Desperation in his voice. It's the power. Oof. Screaming at him. Can you believe that many people stayed silent? The delay is insane. Ooh, that's clever. They cut the delay short. Girl, can you hear me? You know, the way it like, you could hear the delay even within the, it's like, it's a little bit, it makes it sound like it's tripping. Like, it's a tripping sound, you know what I mean? It's because of the delay. Um, but then the delay, it goes and then it like stops. For that next bit, oh, just, sorry, I'm just, I'm geeking out. Can you hear me? Oh my God, the sound design. It's like a produced track, you know? Studio version. How is this live? I just, I mean, I believe it, but it's like, wow. vocals I love it it's such a beautiful feeling take what you want girl oh my gosh I don't know whether I want to be the band or the people in the crowd I think I want to be both simultaneously take what you want Cute. The way he's holding the mic up. That's so cute. Capturing all the vocals. He 
really knows how to let you, like, cook in the best way. Just holds on to the moment. Well, imagine how that feels, though. They're all singing your song back to you. I just like, when you watch stuff like this, it really makes you believe in like superstars. You know how people are like, oh, superstars are just people. Of course, that everyone is just a person, of course. But when you see them on a stage this big in front of this many people, with all the power that they have and they can command an audience to sing or to be quiet or whatever, in the best way, in like a nice way, it, they're superheroes, you know what I mean? It's like they are so powerful. I love that feeling. I love being able to watch a musician who is just like, has this much like of a fan base that, that love their songs so much. They, they feel untouchable, unstoppable. And obviously they are just humans and whatever. And it, it could be dangerous when you're that much of a superstar and to be a fan, you know, you shouldn't look at everyone. You should never... You know what I mean? Like, you've still got to remember they are people and whatever. But I'm just saying, like, for that moment when you get to be there, you can watch them. Like, they are just, like, like actual, like, super. Like, so super. And it's amazing. He's got... He just does it so well. I wonder what they felt, like, the first time ever doing a concert, like, this big. That must have been... Mind blowing. Oh, the way it slowed down, that was cute. <laughs> Ah, do a shimati, mitty. I've forgotten it already. Do do a shi, do do a tashi mati. No, do a tashi mash, do a tashi mashati. Do a tashi mashati. Oh no, I've already forgotten it. Sorry. I tried. At least I tried. I did try. <laughs> you can all laugh at me. That's fine. I, but at least I tried. Okay? Doetashi mashati. Is that it? Doetashi mashati. I think it's something like that. Right, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the other thing I wanted to say is... um. Oh my God, what was I going to say? Oh, I just genuinely don't remember. That is so frustrating. Oh, I remember. I remember. I love how... um. This whole song, he really sang in that raspier. Take what you want, take what you want, girl. Like, I can't do it the way he does it. Not in that range, if you know what I mean. If it is a different range, I would might be able to do it a bit better. Because when you've got rasp, right, it does, like, a, it's different for everyone. But for me, I have to be in a particular place in my voice to let it happen. And I can't do it on the spot like this. I could do it when I'm singing a song. And it just comes out. But I find it hard to just do, you know, out of nowhere. And it's probably a bit dangerous for me to do it out of nowhere because I need to be in the right space and my voice has been warmed up and everything. But that whole song, he really was in that grittier place. And it's because of like the desperation, the emotion that he wanted in it. But it's so cool because he could really turn that grit on and off because he could have probably sang that whole song in a clean way. Very like, take what you want, girl. Like, I know he could, but he's like, take what you want, girl. I can't even do it the way he does it. Of course I can't, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, now we've got I Was King. The orchestra one again, I think. Okay, this one is spooky. <laughs> so far, Judgment Day. Yeah, you go, King. And wait, what's it called? I was King. <laughs> Just realised that. But look at him. Yes. Oh, I can feel the bounce. Just watching him, you know what I mean? Like, 
It's nice. You are all king still. the orchestra How can he just do that? I don't get it. Like, that's just so unbelievably epic. It feels more than life. It feels like it's more that one or two people or three people or four people can contain. Well, I suppose that's why you've got a whole bloody stadium full of people to contain it, to be able to hold the weight of that epicness. It's larger than life. Literally, that, that is just the word. Like, it's the saying, like, larger than life. Literally, it's just so massive it feels unreal it doesn't like i imagine being in that crowd and just being like how am i here right now like I, it's like overwhelming it's like when you see like a firework display and you're like oh this is cool and then at the end it does like the really big bit where it just goes mental and you're like that's overwhelming but in like such a cool way it's like that but times 20 that epicness it almost feels like i'd be like i'd just be like ah, how how is this real it's just that epic, that powerful, that intense, that wonderful. Oh my God. Oh my God. And we only have one left. That's insane. I feel like, wait, hang on. 
I've been recording for nearly two hours, to be fair. And it is called We Are at the From Ambitions Japan Dome Tour. Last not but not least. Cute. I'm already like, oh, <laughs> this is so cute. Good idea as well. And I love, oh, no, that sounds so cute. Stop. No, but I love that they're like, don't re you, we don't need to use your phone lights. Don't worry about the phones. We're going to give you all bracelets that will glow. So you don't even know how to take your phone out. Oh, you know, just enjoy the moment. It's all going to be recorded anyway. Bottoms up. They think that we're no one, we're nothing. Not sorry. They push us. It's filmed it's so late. well. It's too late. Not going I do have demons in my head. This is so beautiful. We are. What does he say? We're what in the dark? He said cowards. Cowards in the dark. Interesting. He always gets so lost in the sauce there. I love it. I feel like my daughter would love this, actually. I feel like it's really special for young minds, actually. Very empowering. That guitar. Ah. 
I would just expire if I was there. I'm so emotional, right? I don't know what that did to me, but it shook me the house down. One more song! One more song! <laughs> oh my god all right well that that is them all of them that's all the songs i just i don't know let's see that was so powerful, that last bit. When I know it's like seems so random because there's been loads of powerful moments throughout, but that had like final song energy. And when all the confetti burst out on that bit, it just oh, it's just such a release. And I've been to shows where that's happened before. I remember when I saw Muse in at Download and they did like um red and white confetti that came out. And um it was it was powerful then it's powerful watching it here with this band especially with the song and how absolutely inspirational and wholesome it is wow one okay rock are sending a, a, a perfectly beautiful message to people all over the world who are struggling uh when it where it comes to being themselves you know, and being, feeling good in your skin, you know, and being good with your style and not giving a crap what anyone else thinks. Also, it just makes you feel like you're part of something, makes you feel special, makes you feel like you do belong. And it's so fun to be able to hear like rock music that is like fun and like punchy and exciting saying those things rather than just like a pop song where it's like be yourself da, 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 or like kind of, you know, a bit empty. This feels like it's filled with emotion and it's just so cool that it's wrapped up in that kind of emo -y rock sound. It actually makes it perfect. It is perfect. And I'm so glad that they're carrying that sound to now with such important messages as well as having a bit of fun too. They're just wholesome I just feel like they are special they're angels on earth you know what I mean they're real angels on earth um just doing right and doing good for the people and I love to see it I love to see it because we are so shrouded in negativity in our everyday lives it's so fun for me just to take a moment out and do my job but also be filled with such great overwhelming happiness and emotion and realize like there is so much good on this world in this world too there are good people there are good moments there are good you know messages and truth and you know the these are the sort of this is the sort of band that are there to carry you through the hard times and that's what I mean by angels on earth anything that can carry you through a bad time is an angel uh and I don't know I just I'm just really I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. I'm just in awe. I'm in total awe. They know how to really do it all. And the lead singer, Taka, like, I know I mentioned him, like, the most, like, most of the time. It's because he, you know, he was filmed a lot of the time. He really is, like, a brilliant front man. He just is brilliant. He really commands the stage. He has so much confidence. But I, I can still imagine inside he is just like, how is this real? Like how and I can imagine that but because you think about it like when they first started out I don't know what if they started out and they were big straight away I don't know but you can imagine they would just be doing little venues no orchestra no like a fire and confetti 
that that they would have just been doing small shows. I suppose it also like the way Marek said, like the show wasn't in a big stadium where he went. So like the fact that they could do these big stadiums, but they can also do like a smaller show and still have that energy, just blow the fucking roof off. It's just impressive. And like, I actually am so glad I watch those little Instagram videos of them too, because you watch the show and it is so powerful and serious, you know what I mean? It's serious, but in like a, I don't mean like, oh, serious, like, and boring. I mean, just like, they're seriously good musicians. They're seriously into it, seriously passionate. They mean what they say and they say what they mean, you know, but then you see those little Instagram videos and they're just having fun and laughing and lighting each other up, you know, and so close and like a family. I actually just feel like they are just, I don't know their personal lives. Of course I don't. And anyone can write a beautiful song, I guess. They probably don't even know, have a clue how much impact they are having on the generation that we are in, you know, and younger and the younger generation too. An older generation can learn from them, you know. I'm, I'm so passionate about this now. I feel like I could talk for ages and like, you know, I'm like off in a daydream, not even looking at the camera because I'm just like so in this thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bringing it in. I know. I am just absolutely just in love. And I think that was so fantastic. And thank you, Marek, for putting that all together. I think you did a fantastic job of all the songs and like the show. And you really made it feel like I was at a concert. You really did. You really did. So thank you again, Marek. And thank you everyone who is watching this and has stayed with me to the end. If you haven't yet, please do make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, all those lovely things. And yeah, let me know if you've seen them live before. And yeah, let me know how that experience was and everything. But wow, I'm so glad that I've been able to hear like a real studio album with all the songs that I absolutely love. I would love to hear them do like the performances of the songs that I already know and love but I'm also excited to check out the songs I've heard today in studio versions you know what I mean so yeah it's fun I know I've got a lot more to discover with this band I feel and they're still going strong and they're still going and going so I feel like it's really cool that they're current and then they'll bring out more music to come in the future as well so I can get into all of that I feel like I, I it's hard to say I'm a fan I hate to say I'm a fan straight away because I've only ever heard like one album and one this but I want to be able to say I am one I feel like I am because well I think you could be a fan right away if it hits you that hard right away you know what I mean if it hits you like that it, it just immediate fan right oh, but anyway yes again thank you so much and I shall see you next time bye